Hello everybody, Jerry here with Aaron's Marine Services back with you. Hope you all are having a great weekend. I wanted to make a quick video today about a common complaint that we have here at the shop. Uh, this particular engine is a Mercury Optimax that we're looking at here. And the complaint that we hear is, is I have a warning buzzer sounding on and off beeping at the uh, engine warning horn. Uh, many times folks will run the three gallon oil reservoir here and I've got one that's uh, sitting on the back of the boat just here for reference but uh, run this oil reservoir very low or near empty continue to drive the boat what will happen is is the engine will at that point it'll be running on its reserve oil tank which is under the cowling here the engine will run on that for a while and then as the oil level continues to drop you'll notice the little float sensor with the wires there that float sensor will drop and it'll tell the computer that the engine is critically low on oil uh, at that point you're going to get the warning buzzer sounding and then a lot of people will shut the engine off go to the back of the boat they'll check the big oil tank and find that they're out of oil so no worries there we'll just go ahead and fill that with oil uh, start the engine back up and we continue to have the warning beep at the dash on the engine warning horn it won't go away so the problem is with that once we deplete oil out of our reserve here our small tank the engine is not able to refill that tank completely to the top that would cause the float sensor to rise and shut our alarm off so what you'll need to do is if you run the large three gallon tank here low on oil or out of oil you'll need to uh, with the engine running you'll need to remove the little black cap right on top of the tank here if I can zoom in take that little black cap off or loosen it a little bit allow the engine to run and you, you can watch that oil level rise in that tank there and when the level gets all the way to the top and even dribbles a little bit out of that cap go ahead and lightly snug that cap up now you don't want to crank that black cap down with a pair of pliers because you'll strip the threads on it and that's a couple hundred bucks for that tank so you don't want to do that but uh, keep that in mind and any just about any mercury that has this three gallon tank in the back of the boat is going to have a very similar setup some of the older engines years back they'll have a tank in a different location under the hood uh, we're just looking at the optimax today so just keep in mind if you run that big three gallon tank too low and you suck air there you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to purge the air out of your small reservoir here and allow the engine to run to refill that at that point that should shut your alarm off uh, if you were to ever continue to have an alarm of course we'll need to get that into the shop to see what's going on the other thing to keep in mind on these engines is if you have a warning buzzer sounding you don't want to ignore that and continue to drive the boat if at all possible I always recommend to shut it off you try to use your trolling motor uh, call for help or whatever uh, because you know you never know what could be wrong it could be a minor problem it could be something major that could cause engine damage so don't just keep going down the lake with the warning buzzer going I've seen that happen that can be an expensive mistake so anyway I just wanted to make a quick video on this this is a, a call that we get frequently throughout the summer a lot of folks just forget to check the oil tank uh, I like to keep a gallon of, the, of oil in the boat, an extra gallon with me, just so I have it. Get in the habit of checking that oil when you get gas. Really, every time you fill up, you should take a look at the big white tank here. See what kind of oil level you've got in there. Go ahead and top it off as needed. Uh, anyway, just a little video that might help you out here. If you have any questions on this, just give us a call at the shop. We'd be glad to talk to you. And have a great weekend. Thank you very much.